Hello, Shopify enthusiasts! Welcome back to TaxPress. Today, let's deep dive into the crucial aspect of your store, customizing the Shopify checkout page for optimal performance. So, this is like a preview of a customized checkout page. If you're looking to enhance user experience, increase conversions, and reduce card abandonment, you are into the right place. So, let's get started. The really importance of checkout page customization. Before we get into the how, let's discuss why customizing your checkout page is a game game changer for your Shopify store. These are really statics on car abandonment and user experience impact. You can see that directly into your analytics and see this into the last, for example, 12 months. And you can see the average between the online conversion rate, the total orders, the returning customer rate, the top selling products, and much more. What you actually wanted to get started with is the fulfilled orders over time. And well, let's just get started. Now here, Get ready to discover the potential of a seamless and user-friendly checkout process. The customization options into Shopify. Let's explore the various customization options Shopify offers your checkout page. So if you go directly here into your online store, let's go here into customize and directly here into customize, what you want to do is to choose, let's say a product. You don't have to worry about which one, just choose one of those and then choose the add to the cart. Now if we go for view the cart or view the checkout, here we can see that we have the checkout of your cart. You can see that we can click into the checkout button and this one should be sending us directly into the checkout. So this is the part when you want to customize your checkout section. This is how you can edit using different checkout. So how to customize the checkout? We needed to do this with the theme settings. So you get clicked into theme settings and as you can see, we can change, for example, the logo. Now here into the logo, I can import my own custom logo. So for example, I'm going to go for changed, uh, explore from my library, and I can choose whatever I wanted to. For example, let's say this one, I hit into done, and this is my new logo. So later on, I can choose to change the colors. So here's a scheme number one, you can change this for scheme number four and leave it like that. Now in my case, usually I, I kind of like this font, but in the, in your case, you want to change that out, you can do that. Now the layout, the animations, the buttons, the variant PLs, the inputs, everything could be edited as you're just getting started here. So take your time and finish everything as you're just getting started. Usually what everybody does here into the checkout is to add like a banner, for example. So you can choose explore for images. Let's say for example, I'm looking for, I don't know, maybe game right so here are a lot of categories and uh, i choose let's say for example this one i select it and check out how it's going to be looking now my checkout so you can change this if you want to in my case i kind of like it now here you can choose a specific logo if you want to you can create your own logo into canva usually in my case it's uh, nothing that fancier so you can go here to create your design I hit into show, I download as a transparent background, really important. And here is my new logo. So I can now go back here into my Shopify store. I go for select the image, add my image, which is actually this one. I choose it. Here has been processing and just go into done. And check out how it's going to be looking your logo. So if you wanted to change this, for example, a little bit smaller, just choose a small, here it is. You can choose medium, you can choose large, that totally depends on how you want it to look for. So the position should be, for example, let's say center or into the right or into your left. Usually what I do is just to leave it into the right section. You have now the background image, the background color. Now here into the background color, I can change it for something like this, for example, or something more related into your logo. Uh, field. So let's say, for example, something like this, right? You can change transparent if you wanted to, for example. That's really depending on you. Now, the typography here, the background color, I can change this for something black, for example. It actually looks really great. It actually looks really awesome to change all these elements. And the fact that we can change this is really, really awesome. But you wanted to make sure that you have something that really people can see, can check out, because what they wanted to do is to actually understand what they're actually doing so you don't want it to be really messy there now here into the colors the accent colors let's say something uh, i kind of like the blue but kind of like a little bit much more i'm going to try to reload the page 
and see if there's any changes into my checkout page. So boom, check it out. It actually looks really, really awesome so far. Uh, cover everything from trust batches to personalized messages. Your customer will love the smooth breath through the checkout process. For example, trusted by a lot of people. Well, like seeing like everybody does. So usually if you want to add all those stuff, what you can do is to add more elements. So how you can customize more checkout settings. You can go here into the administrator section. And here into the administrator section, what you want to do is to look out for the apps and go for Shopify App Store. Now here I wanted to type trust batches. So here are the trusted batches. Now if you have the trusted sites, you want to make sure that you have a free plan of whatever application you wanted to add. And of course has a really strong rating. So I hit now into install. And after hitting to install, just grant it the access. Let's go for install the application. And once you have successfully done that, it's gonna be showing you a bunch of batches that you can add into your website. So here are the batches. For example, it can create a new batch, single banner, for example, your batch, the free shipping, delivery, your doorstep and us. Here's the icon, preview the batch into your store. And lastly, you want to make sure that everything that you have installed from another application, go into apps and beams and enabled all of them, as I just did here. I enabled a lot of stuff that I could just install into my website. Hit into save and here we go. Here's my checkout and here is my batches. As you can see, now it looks so much better. So there you have it guys, a crash course into Shopify checkout page customization. Hopefully guys, this was a really, really great, great, great application and uh, tutorial for you. So you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify tips, hit that notification bell, your Shopify store is now on its way to provide seamless checkout experience. You have the link down below in the description so we can all get started with a huge discount into Shopify. Until next time, happy selling.